greetings, everyone. This is um, our mostly weekly We Awake meditation, where we use the technology that we create at We Awake and we meditate together because um, because it's powerful and there's a lot of phenomenological experiential data and there's a lot of there's scientific uh, data too that when people meditate together it creates a field there's a, there's an energetic thing that happens and it seems to be not limited by um, space in other words you can be listening to this in japan and i'm in uh southern utah and it still works because i don't know quantum entanglement the mystery of prayer i don't know but it does seem to work so we'll just uh we'll just go with it so the name of this track is called heaven and earth and it entrains to uh theta which is a very good deep meditational state kind of that that bridge between the conscious and the unconscious or subconscious and um it's also solfeggio frequency this is called the frequency of love so it's a pretty powerful uh, thing and this is normally a, a one hour meditation if you purchase this that's what you get you get an hour but because of um uh, limit time limitations we're only going to do a half hour today so um Shall we get ready? Let's uh, still our minds and open our hearts and be open to the present moment and anything else that uh, our higher self would like to uh, teach us or heal us or whatever happens. It's, it's, each time it's different. Each time it's a mystery. And all we can do is, is open ourselves and open our hearts and open our minds and, and uh, show up. So here we are showing up together. So welcome, everyone. And let's get going.
Well, welcome back, everyone. And uh, that was Heaven and Earth. And uh, very powerful track. Uh, for our inner work. And at a certain point in our emotional and spiritual development, life becomes difficult or unsatisfying if we don't pay attention to our the health of our soul, if you will. And uh, and when I, I used to work with uh, recovering alcoholics and addicts, one of the things that we did was talk about daily practice and how essential that was if you were going to um, be able to survive the disease of addiction, which is a progressive disease and doesn't just stabilize. It just gets worse and worse until it basically kills you or you lose your soul, you lose your, your healthy sense of personhood and uh it's that stuff so one of my little sayings was in times of greater stress practice more not less and we're in a time on our planet uh, that are that is very distressing, you know, very, very upsetting time. There's a lot of things going on, uh, just innocents dying, unjust wars. Um, we're less than two months away from election in the United States. And like it or not, the United States has a very powerful country and, and what we do for good or ill, um, affects the whole world and we're we're coming a time it's a it's a, a crossroads that we have a candidate that is uh, pretty much saying they they want to be an authoritarian leader dictator and they are uh, a pathological narcissist you know that number one is the only thing that matters. And that is not a good thing for a leader of a democratic nation or a democratic people, however flawed, and it is flawed. But um, so it's a real scary time. So what do you do? You know, what do you do with that? Do you just uh, withdraw from the struggle? How do you act in a way that... Um, is in accordance with your inner voice, in accordance with your conscience. And some wise person once said that conscience resisted loses its power over the mind. So if you just, you know, ignore, ignore that, that voice that tells you to be honest, to find your path, to treat others with respect, to be kind and loving and help uh, those less fortunate than yourselves, all those things, those basic human values that we find in, in uh, all the great traditions, it'll stop bothering you so much. You know, it'll just shut down. And uh, I think that's probably one of the things or the one of the meanings we can get out of the phrase that Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What if you win the game and you lose your soul? You lose your connection. So uh, take the time to do meditation. Take the time 
to do self-reflection. Take the time to do inner prayer because it's very easy to get lost. And we have a, uh, a modern culture that has so many incredible technological things, but it also has a has a uh, extremely narcissistic side that um, can be you know can be so shallow and can take you know the they say that the universe is thirteen point eight billion years old and they keep playing around with that number but that's probably what most people would say and that's not very long to create an individual human being that has a sense of of being an individual and responsibility and connection and you know we're so complex you know we're the only creatures on the planet that takes how many years to become an adult uh, are you an adult at 14 when you become, say, able to reproduce? Or is it 21? Or is it 18? Or is it 30? One time I was given a talk and I said, you know, it takes the average in the United States of people about 30 years before they uh, they grow up and become an adult. And, a, and an older woman in the, the uh, front row said, try 40. You know, so it takes a long time. And I don't know why it takes so long. I guess we're so damn complex. And um, because it takes so long is why we have probably culture and civilization because to take care of young people and get them to to survive and, and become productive adults it takes a long time and a lot of care and a lot of work. And uh, living in a me, 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 me culture and is a, it's a scary thing. And we see it in politics right now in the United States. And I don't have to say who I'm talking about. Uh, I think you'll, you'll know. Uh, it's all about him. I guess that just gave it away. I didn't say it's all about her. <laughs> so anyway, so God help us in these, next few weeks to do soul searching and not to be too swayed by the bombardment of propaganda and stuff that uh, people are using to manipulate us. I mean, in the, in the American uh, political system now, there's all kinds of players that are trying to influence what Americans do with propaganda, you know, and social media. And uh, I read recently that the average young black boy or African American boy in the United States spends 11 hours a day looking at this thing, you know, <laughs> that's it's just shocking. And that's poor kids. Um, So what do we do with that? Well, we have to do, spend the appropriate amount of time. One of the things that we can do about it is do the interior search. Search for, search for God, search for conscience. So we're trying to be the best person that we can be and actualizing ourselves as an individual ego and even deeper, an individual soul of what we can give and what, what kind of service we can bring to the world and uh, paying attention to the voice of conscious. And when we do wrong things, how to fix them. You know, that's a big part of the 12 steps. You have to go back and, and see all the people that you've hurt in your unconscious acting out and try to fix it, what you've broken, you know, try to repair the damage done, which is not always possible. And it's not only alcoholics and addicts that hurt other people through acting in selfish, unconscious ways. 
God knows, you know, we all have. And, um, and that should hurt in here. And we should try to fix it. We should try to do better. And it should make us more understanding, more compassionate, more humble, right? To realize that we're not perfect. And uh, if we get too full of our own personal ego selves and don't balance that out with, with the connection to the larger self, the sacred earth, the sacred cosmos, the sacred being, sacred God, however you want to say that, and all of that together, um, We get in a lot of trouble. So it's my prayer that we'll make it through these times and that we'll make wise decisions uh, individually and collectively and that we can keep this human race going, this human evolutionary spiral evolving into higher levels of compassion and, and wisdom and, and uh, skillfulness and sacred direction in our lives. So to do that, spend time going inside. Uh, use these tools are really helpful for that. If you don't use these tools, do it anyway. But I think these tools help more. And um, more is better. Uh, if you can find, you know, do it twice a day or do longer meditations. And as you begin to do the work, what your practice is supposed to be about kind of kind of reveals itself. And of course, there's there's all kinds of traditions, contemplative traditions that have basic, you know, practices that you do. You, you can do that, or you can just trust the uh, wisdom within you to 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 show you uh, what you're supposed to do, or listen to people who are a little further along the path than you are, or do however that works for you. Uh, it's essential. And without it, we, we lose ourselves. We get lost and we forget our souls. So anyway, um, God help us. And um, let's each one of us do our parts as we feel called to do. And hopefully we can become wiser, more compassionate, and uh, better people and make the difficult choices that, that we need to make to uh, for those who came before us, for those who are on the planet now, and for the generations to come. So I guess that's probably more than enough for today. So God bless everyone, and uh, love you guys. And uh, you probably never see me again if this pissed you off, or uh, I'll see you again next time. So anyway, much love.